everyone, Sebastian here from Let the Movie Begin, and this is my first video in my new tutorial series. Now, I'm sorry if I stop sometimes, I have a, the hiccups right now. So, today the effect we're going to be pulling off, and that I'm going to be teaching you, is this um, cloning effect, where my friend Joseph walks up the stairs and crosses in front of each other. This is from my Max Ambush video that I uploaded a, a few days ago. If you want to take a look at it, the link is in the description below. So pretty much how I did this is, I'm going to turn off the bottom layer, is for this specific shot, I rotoed out this be the stairwell just to make it easier. He came forward, I kept him cut out. Now also remember, the top layer is the person who's going to cross over front. For example, be this Joseph here in the front. Now if we flipped it the other way and we rotoed him out because we see them here crossing and he's in front. What it would look like is this guy, he's walking behind him and it'll just look really messed up. So make sure you know who's on top or else your shot won't look correct. Also lighting does help make the roto brushing look more more convincing and easier. So I'm going to make a new comp composition and teach you how to roto brush. So we drag it, create a new composition, and if we go to the beginning of our footage, the footage that I shot was the first guy walking up the stairs, and it was it was on a tripod. If you don't film on a tripod, it's going to be a lot more difficult to pull off the roto brushing effect. So he comes up the stairs. He comes up the stairs a few times just to get it to look right. This was this side, yeah. He comes up the stairs. And so, the way that I laid this out was I find the two sides of the footage that I need. So for example, here, and so we do Shift Command D, and that cuts our footage. And this top layer, we can trim down until we find the other part of him walking. By here, we would have this shot, him walking up, and the other side of him walking up. Now, what I like to do is line it up. So it's lined up. And then I bring out the opa opacity, bring it down to maybe 50%. Yeah, so that we can see both of them coming coming up so he comes up the stairs and we may need to drag make the timing so we pull this back a bit more so they come up and boom so let's trim our footage to end there all right from here what I do is bring back up the opacity select this top layer go to the roto brush tool and double click and here opens up the ed editing area for the roto tool just a few tips um, that help you while you're roto brushing to move around the screen easily you click the middle mouse button and you drag it around your mouse, pa mouse pad or table to grab to move around the footage now to make it bigger or smaller you scroll the middle mouse button so moving and scrolling help a lot. Another cool thing is that you click Alt, put your mouse in any corner or something, doesn't ma matter where on your shot, and you scroll in, it'll zoom into that area, which is really cool. So now to the actual roto brushing. Roto brushing is pretty much you're picking what you wanna add, what you wanna keep, and everything else gets cut out. You left click to add, you alt left click to delete and then you click command left click and you drag to make it bigger or you can also make it a lot smaller after you've picked the area of roto brushing that you want to cut out you go after effects will try to cut the areas using contrast to figure out what you want to cut and what you want to stay in your footage now, as we can see, the head came out of the roto brush, so we'll take the tool and cut that part out of the footage. 
try if you try to get it as perfect as possible the better it looks it's a very tedious task and it's very difficult this shot for the actual video took me around 40 minutes to do it and I had to do it twice because I lost I lost what I had done that whole 40 minutes so remember to auto save or always click save just so that you don't lose lose your work so pretty much you go through this all the frames of your video and you cut out the top character I already had the footage cut out from before so I'm going to copy and paste it into the tutorial comp that I did for you guys and once you have it done you should get the effect to make it look like they cross in front of each other now you can probably spend a a lot of time doing it perfecting it so that it fits your video the rotor brush tool may not always be the best tool instead of using the rotor brush tool you can also grab the pen tool and cut out your character however it is very difficult and is more time consuming because you have to keyframe every single frame to get it to look right now, I hope you learned how to roto brush in this video with the roto brush tool and a simple way of doing a cloning effect. It may be time consuming, but in the end for your shot, it may be worth it because you get a cool shot and people will be impressed. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial and there's more on the way. Goodbye.